Waste Water Story Sewage and Cleaning Water You know that water is the most precious and important thing that all living things need to survive. You need water to drink and that water has to be clean and germ-free. And there are so many other things we absolutely need water for. We need water to grow our food and to keep our body, clothes, houses and surroundings clean. Cleaning of water Clean water is a basic need of human beings. But unfortunately, clean water is not available to many humans. They have to use dirty water to fulfill their needs. This leads to various health problems and waterborne diseases. The General Assembly of the United Nations announced 2005 to 2015 as the International Decade for Action on Water for Life. This action aimed to reduce by half the number of people who do not have access to safe drinking water. How do we clean water? We install filters in our kitchen or we use alum to clean the water. What these things do is basically they settle the dirt in the water. This process is called cleaning of water. Sewage We use the water and make it dirty. Do you know how? The water that we use gets mixed with soap, shampoo, detergent, dirt and many other things when we use it. This dirty water is also called waste water. Sewage is the waste water released by homes, industries, hospitals, etc. Sewage is liquid waste. It contains dissolved and suspended impurities. These impurities are called contaminants. You must have seen manholes on roads and in your buildings. What are they for? There is a huge transport system that carries sewage. There are many small pipes that collect sewage from the origin to the point of disposal. What do you think is a point of disposal of sewage? It is a wastewater treatment plant. Wastewater treatment plant. Have you seen the wastewater plant? Most of the time, there is a bad odor near it. This is because the plant collects all the wastewater and cleans it. Sounds interesting, right? Let's take a look at the treatments that make the water clean. Wastewater treatment involves physical, chemical and biological processes. Get ready for a treatment tour. Screening Wastewater is passed through big screens. These screens remove large objects such as sticks, cans, plastic bags, etc. Grit removal After removing large objects, the water goes to a big tank. Here, the speed of the incoming water is decreased. It allows sand, grit and pebbles to settle down. Oil and grease removal Water is contaminated with oil and grease too. A skimmer removes the oil and grease from the water. This water is considered as clarified water. The sludge which is settled at the bottom of the tank is then shifted to another tank. It is decomposed by anaerobic bacteria. This process produces biogas which is further used as fuel. 
aeration. Air is passed into this clarified water. This helps aerobic bacteria to grow. These bacteria eat up all the waste that is still there in clarified water. Activated sludge. After many hours, the microbes settle down at the bottom of the tank. It is then called activated sludge. Activated sludge contains about 97% water. The water is removed by passing it through sand beds or machines. The dry sludge can be used as manure. After going through all these processes, is the water clean now? Yes, but still, it has a very low level of organic matter. This water is then discharged into water bodies like a sea or a river etc. Oof! It's a long process, isn't it? But you must be aware of the system that provides us with clean water. You must have seen open drainages. They smell really bad. Flies and mosquitoes breed in this dirty water. It can also lead to many waterborne diseases like cholera, typhoid, dysentery, etc. What did we just learn? Wastewater is generated in homes, industries, agricultural fields, etc. This is called sewage. Sewage is a liquid waste which causes water and soil pollution. Wastewater is treated in a sewage treatment plant. Treatment plants reduce pollutants in wastewater to a level where nature can take care of it. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.